All right, what's up everybody? Take number three on this video. Uh, first one was too dark, second one didn't even record, and uh, here we are, hopefully third time's the charm. My name's Oki12, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing down below, hit that thumbs up for this video and the bell next to it so you can be notified for all my content. And uh, yeah, what's up everybody? So the winter storm happened. Um, I've been waiting for a while to get this package so I could share it with you and do this unboxing so you guys can see some of the tournament baits that I've got. Tournament season is ramping up. I've got a tournament next week and then the week after that I also have a tournament so I'm going to be on the road traveling hopefully cashing some checks and getting a lot of good content and videos for you guys. Um, also during the winter storm I managed to break my drone. I'll just roll the footage for you guys right here. So yeah, things have been chaotic, but that's just my life, so it is what it is. Let's get into the Tackle Warehouse unboxing. Uh, comment down below if you guys use some of these baits, if you had success with them, um, or if there's any new baits that you see in this video that you hope to try. I hope these baits work for you, and I hope they work for me. I've got some new ones to try this year as well, so um, I'll report back to you on how those work. But these are baits I'm going to be using this tournament season uh, for bass fishing, so let's get into it. <laughs> Alright, so obviously this box has been open because this is my third time doing it, but first up is going to be the Strike Zone Pocket Knocker Lure Retriever. I've got three of these. Uh, most of you know it's it's part of the game and fishing that you get hung up so I wanted to get some of these so you can put them on your line drop down hopefully knock some of these baits out so I'm not losing as many baits this year on the, on the trail and having to buy more um, to try to save some money. Alright first up I have six packages of the Gary Yamamoto 4 inch shad shaped worm in various colors. The first one is cinnamon red blue flake. I don't know if you guys can see that color but then I have um, two in this perch color, which is kind of a, like a orange and, and green kind of color. It's going to be probably hard to see in this package, so I'll go ahead and get that out and show you what that is going to look like. So, pretty good looking, pretty nice looking color um, for comparison. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to try to throw that. I've got two of those, and can't wait to uh, get out on the water and try some of these new colors. Uh, next up, I have one of the green pumpkin uh, black flakes. Pretty simple. It's just green pumpkin with a uh, black flake in it. And then I have two of the natural shad colors, which is like a gray with some flake in it as well. You should be able to see that one. All right, up next, I have six packages of the Castaic Baits Baby Jerky J in the 3.5 inch. Um, I actually use this bait a lot. It's just kind of it's pretty expensive you get 10 of them but they're like I don't know eight dollars a pack or something I don't really know it's it's pretty expensive so even though they're expensive they're pretty good bait that I use quite often and so I've got two in the uh, sexy blue color then I've got three packages of the blueback herring And then the last package I have is one of the uh, Golden Shiner. Next I have two packages of the Strike King KVD Perfect Plastics, in, one in the Siren color and one in the Morning Dawn. As you can see these are pretty bright, uh, unnatural colors and uh, that's really good this time of year because I want my bait to stand out. Uh, maybe something that's not uh, common that's being thrown by everybody else. All right, next up, uh, this is going to cause some controversy. I didn't really want to talk about this bait. This is a new bait I haven't got to use yet, but uh, this this is not a, a new bait to the fishing game, but it's just a, game, uh, a bait, in my opinion, that's really overlooked and not real common uh, to find nowadays, or if it is, people don't really want to talk about it, um, which I can understand why. So we're going to make a few people mad with this, but I've got three of the Lucky Craft uh, spy baits. I've got two in the Spy Pointer uh, 80 size. One is the Chartreuse Shad. The other is the American Shad. And then I have a Spy Point 90, which is just a little bit bigger size. Um, so these are the 80s are three and a quarter inch, the 90 is three and nine sixteenths. 
And um, this is in the uh, Bone Pro Blue, which is kind of like a translucent see-through color. Um, so yeah. Next up is another new bait that I, I just got and one I didn't quite want to talk about yet because I haven't quite used it yet. But um, this one's made by the a VMC hook. It's a Storm Wildlife Live Gobi. Uh, these are the three inch, one quarter ounce, and they are in the uh, natural color. Uh, next up, I have four of the Strike King Thunder Crickets, and man, did these ever break the bank. Wow, I never thought I'd be spending so much on one lure, but man, these are expensive. But I've heard a lot of great things about them. It's not going to be my first time using them. All these are in the 3 8 ounce, but I've got the color, pretty much spectrum colored of baits that I would use with one extra kicker color. And uh, so I've got the white, the green pumpkin, the black and blue, and then I have a color called Black Widow, which is the red and black. Which is uh, anything with red is what I like to throw in the early pre-spawn, early year, January, February. So I'm hoping that color is going to be killer uh, coming up in a, in a week or so. Next up, I have two packages of the Strike King Baby Rage Menace in the Crawdaddy color. I'm going to take one of these out of the package for you and um, so you can see the color. But it's a, it's a unique color. It's really one that I like. And uh, these are all different, but this is kind of a darker color. But as you can see up here at the top, this one has the, the orange in it. Um, most of them have more of the orange down here on the, on the what I would consider the pinchers because this is going to imitate a craw. But um, they're all different on the coloring. And so I'm um, hoping that little bit of, bit of orange this time of year is uh, going to be what the, the fish are looking for. Next, I have a package of the Fish Monkey woolly uh, fingerless gloves. Basically they're wool fingerless gloves. Uh, the weather's been unpredictable here lately and kind of cold so I want to have something just to be on the safe side if it does get kind of cold and keep my hands warm so I can still cast and do what I need to do. Next I have three packages of the Strike King weedless Ned Rig Head and this is a new product by Strike King. I've never tried these before but I, I'm trying to get away from the Z-Man Ned Heads. I'm just not a fan of those. They break too often for me. I'm sure they work for everybody else but for whatever reason I consistently uh, have the hook break on those and lose a lot of fish. So I'm trying to move away from those and try something different. So I have two of the 1 8 ounce in the green pumpkin and one in the 3 16 ounce in the black. And so those are the green pumpkin and then here's the black. Next up, you know it's that time of year, the spinner bait, chatter bait. Gotta have the uh, trailer hook. So these are the owner cutting point tra spinner bait trailer hooks in the 3 aught. They come with the plastic sleeves so you can just stick the hook through them. Uh, and you're good to go. So uh, I recommend um, a trailer hook on all of your spinner baits, but also on your chatter baits. All right, last but not least, I have six um, Strike King finesse jigs, ranging in the 3 8 ounce. I've got a couple in the 1 quarter ounce, I think, because they didn't have the 3 8 ounce. I usually don't get anything other than 3 8 ounce, but um, I, since they didn't have that color in the 3 8 ounce, I needed it now, so I went ahead and, and downsized. And then I've got one in the half ounce that I didn't order that they just threw in the bag. So these vary. This is like the whiskey crawl. It's kind of got some of the orange color to it. And I got two of those in that color. And then I've got two in the, or I've got, yeah, two in the green pumpkin brown, basically. I got one in the green pumpkin with like an orange, so I believe this is probably like their, I don't know, perch color or something along those lines, but uh, something with the orange on it. I like stuff that's got orange on it this time of year, early season uh, for me. And then the last one is like a peanut butter jelly looking color. It's like brown with purple and black and it's in the half ounce and these are all football jigs. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. I've got a lot of footage coming for you. I've got another fishing video rolling out. I'm gonna be fishing a tournament next week and then the week after. So I'm gonna have even more footage for you all there. Stay tuned for more content and I'll see you all out on the water.